Hello, curl friends and guys. How you doing out there today? I am uh, your host, Patricia. Welcome to the Silver Crown. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thank you so much. I hope you will subscribe. Push the subscribe button, and there's a notification button right next to that. It's a little bell. Click on that, and you'll get notifications every time I upload a video. And if you've been hanging with me for the last year plus, couple of months, Thank you for hanging in there with me and enjoying my journey with me, I suppose. I hope you are anyway. But today I want to talk to you about some products that I picked up. Uh, African Shea Butter and some Jamaican Black Castor Oil. So let me just jump right in. Um, I don't know if anyone else has experienced this. I'm sure they have. But I'm trying to get some products together to take back with me to Canada that I will not find in Canada. Uh, especially where I live, because, you know, we are very few and far in between. Um, and there are no ethnic hair stores there uh, that deal with black hair care in the part of uh, British Columbia that I live in. So <clears throat> I try to get my products when I come to the States. Anyway, when I got here a couple of months ago, a few months ago, I picked up some OK Pure Naturals African Shea Butter. It says all natural, 100% pure. Now, today, I went to pick up another container. Um, because This is the chunky yellow. The reason that I went to pick up another container is because I'm running low on the batch that I made two weeks before I came back to the States. And uh, it made uh, like a eight ounce jar that I mixed with other oils. So I'm at the end of that jar and I wanna go ahead and make another batch in a sterilized jar before I go back to Canada. I had the hardest time finding shea butter that did not have some white stuff in it. Now, uh, I've, I've done some research when I first started my hair journey about this and what I found was that sometimes when it starts getting older or it'll get mold in it, it'll start getting white or going rancid or whatever. This is the first jar that I bought. First of all, this one, you really got to be careful because they will try to cheat you. I'm telling you what. This jar is heavier than this jar, and they are identical. They were the same price. Uh, I did get them from two different stores, but I'm telling you, this one is noticeably heavier than this one. So that's one thing, right? You don't even know what you're getting unless you, you know, travel with a small scale of some type of your own. Secondly, I had to go to th three stores before I was able to find what I needed because um, this smells like, this smells like shea butter. It's got that original smell, if you know what I mean. If you've smelled shea butter, then you know what I'm talking about. They also had stuff packaged in the same kind of container, but it was white and it was smooth, and it said shea butter. And I'm thinking, now I know from my reading, supposedly there are two different types of shea trees, right? So they, you know, it's not really a shea tree, but it's something like shea, um, and it gives an oil as well. Well, I decided, you know, the container is not, it's not sealed with uh, cellophane or anything like that. So it was very easy to open. And I decided to put my nose to it. And I'm telling you, it was cocoa butter. It was not shea butter. It was cocoa butter in a shea butter container. That's what it was. I, you, I, you know cocoa butter. It smells like cocoa. So I opened it and I thought, why is this different? It's white. Maybe I should get the white because of my white hair. I smelled it. It was cocoa butter. And I thought, now that's just wrong, okay? Because if people don't know any better, they will think that they're getting shea butter, and it is clearly cocoa butter. So needless to say, I didn't get it because I don't know anyone that uses cocoa butter on their hair. When I was younger, I used it a lot on my skin, but I never put it in my hair. So, I mean, it's probably okay. I don't know. But it's the fact that they were trying to sell me something that I knew was not shea butter. So now I'm wondering, the stuff that they're trying to sell us, is this really shea butter? <laughs> we have to go to Ghana to find out. The other thing is, this is the stuff that I bought 
a few months ago. When it's, and the shelf life of this is supposed to be 12 to 24 months, depending on the temperature conditions, right? So I kept this in a vanity cabinet on the floor, down on the floor, so it would stay cool, but not cold and not hot, right? And no moisture. So it looks like this. That's what this looks like. All right, this is from a few months ago. So it stayed dry. It was a pretty consistent temperature, the whole nine yards. I never opened the container until today. All right. This is the one that I got today. Now look at that. You see the difference in the color? It's darker. Now, granted, it's warmer. I spent the winter here. Uh, I just bought this today. And it looks... almost grainy. I, not, not a lot, but it does look a little grainy compared to the other. Let me see if, uh, if you can tell because they just look different to me. I don't know. Maybe you can. Can you tell the difference? This is the one from a few months ago. This is the one from today. To me, this one is lighter and it's more solid. This one is a little bit more grainy. I don't know, I can't explain it. But anyway, and, and it definitely ain't the same amount in this container as it is in this container. <sighs> so there's that. Then uh, I picked up some Jamaican black castor oil a while ago. And both of the, and I bought this one today because I want to take it back with me as well. It's a different company. This is Tropical, Tropic Isle Living, this one. This one is uh, DNA, Miracle Treatment Oil, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Original. So this one doesn't have anything else in it. No tea tree, no nothing. This one doesn't have anything else in it, supposedly, uh, and no salt, which is important that there not be any salt in it. Is there a crack in this jar? Why is there oil coming out of here? Oh my God. Ugh. Anyway, this is very thin. Uh, I know now when I say thin, I mean, it's light in color. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's it's kind of light in color. I expected it to be darker. Um, I have another bottle of castor oil, but it's just regular castor oil by the Now Company, and it's clear. It's just clear, um, and it's 100% uh, pure castor oil. But this, I, I expected this to be darker. Now, I realize it's in a dark bottle, as, as is this one. But this one, I don't want to open it because this does have a protective uh, seal on it, and I've been using this one. But this one looks clearly darker, from what I can tell, than this one. And it's a lot thicker. So it's like, you don't know what you're getting. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I don't know. Um, does anyone have a company? Well, I don't know. I don't want to put you on the spot. But anyway, where do you get your shea butter from? Do you get the whip kind? Do you get the chunky kind? I like the chunky because I can mix with it whatever I want to mix with it. And then ones that are already whipped, they may already have something in it. Like one guy tried to sell me something. It said 100% shea butter. And then it said dash mango scent. Okay, no, I don't want that. So I thought, well, mango scent, what is in this thing? So I kept reading it. It had olive oil and melaleuca. It was probably more olive oil than anything else. So the ones that are whipped, they have to, in order to get them soft, they have to uh, mix it with some kind of a carrier, like olive oil or grapeseed or jojoba or something to make it soft and to be able to whip it. Otherwise, it's just very, very hard to work with. Um, so that's why I don't buy them already mixed because I want to put my own stuff in it. But anyway, this is the brand African Shea Butter by OK Pure Naturals, and they are clearly different. And so um, I don't know. This... <sighs> I don't know how old this was. I had to go to four stores because every container that I picked up, when I looked at the top, it was fine. I turn it over and look at the bottom, and it's all white and funny looking in the bottom. I'm thinking, is that mold? Ugh. Anyway, this is getting serious, isn't it? Anyway, 
I decided I'm going to go ahead and use the older one and um, take the other one, the one that I got today, back with me. And I'll see what's going on with this oil. It's going to take me a minute to get through this because this stuff is so thick. So I don't use a lot of it. I use, uh, when I mix my little dish and I go to do my hair, I usually put maybe a, a teaspoon in my mixture because it's so thick. It's, it's really, really thick. So I just wanted to make sure I had this. In the event I don't come back <laughs> during the summer, I don't want to have to pay to have it shipped to me because it ain't cheap. Every time my secretary sends me something, it's like, oh my God. You know, it, and, and then okay, it has to go through customs and the whole nine yards. It's just a pain. So anyway, I'll just get my stuff while I'm here. But I just wanted to let you guys know to watch your products when you're getting them. And when you go to buy your shea butter, make sure you look at the bottom of the container. Look everywhere and make sure you don't see anything white growing in the bottom of the container. And the guy was trying to tell me, oh, no, this is just because of temperature. Yeah, because of temperature. <laughs> because it's going moldy because of temperature. So, no, I don't want it. Anyway, oh, my God. Well, anyway, that's my rant. That's my. That's all I got to say about that. Just let me know what you guys use. At, do you order online? Do you get it from your beauty, local, local beauty supply store? And thanks for coming by. Let me know what brand you use for your uh, Jamaican black castor oil, if you use it at all. Some people don't use it. They think it's too heavy. And what I would recommend to that is um, mix it. Mix it with grapeseed oil or a, or a very uh, light oil until you get it to the consistency that you want it, or just don't use it, you know, whatever works for you, all right? So thanks for coming by. I'll see you later. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Share my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.